So, ladies and gentlemen, if you are finding me and Larry for the first time, please be sure to subscribe to my channel, his channel. Links are in the video description. Follow us on Instagram. Links are in the video description. And now we're going to drop a fresh fan theory on you about power that a fan connected for me. But before we do that, let me let you guys take a look at this clip so I can give you a little bit of insight on where we're going. And this is all about Effie. Guess I'll come back later for a rematch and the re-up, you promise me. Sure. All right. Little Blob's father took a bullet for me. Send Drew to talk to him. Mm. Ladies and gentlemen, in that episode when Effie was playing chess with Tariq, she mentioned that she had a brother locked up. And my subscriber said, yo, Lamont, I know who Effie's brother is. It's Lorenzo mm. Tejada. It's Lorenzo Tejada. How do you think Effie was getting all that product? Why do you, why do you think they kept saying unknown every single time she would text? Ladies and gentlemen, mm. via a subscriber who hit me up, I'm here to go to bat for him and say, I can see. Effie being Lorenza Tejada's sister. Now mm. she she doesn't have the have they even mentioned her last name? I've heard her last name, but I don't recall it being Tejada, which that don't that don't matter. But they never just called her Effie. You heard it here first. Effie's brother and her damn connection is Lorenza Tejada, who is in jail. Larry, what you think? Man, I like that theory but here's the crazy thing with that theory right if that mm -hmm. fan theory plays into my theory we have Tariq that becomes like Kevin Bacon it's gonna be like six degrees of Tariq because he will have smashed Effie Diana uh, uh Monet and uh who whoa, else is in that mix whoa. over there whoa I'm sitting there his shaking I mean, he, will, he will have smashed everybody in that circle he's gonna no. he's gonna end he up it's gonna no. be like Kevin Baker. It's gonna be six degrees of Tariq. Hmm. I'm just saying. Well, here's the problem: if he's the brother, who is taking care of Effie? Who is helping Effie get to school? Who is helping Effie do all the adult stuff she needed to do to go from high school to college? And who is actually putting the supplies in Effie's hands? That's what we got to figure out next. Maybe that's what we gotta mom. figure. Maybe Tahada's mom. No, I mean, if know, that's a brother, then you know. I don't know. We'll see. We'll see. Maybe seems pretty but scary. I, she might be able to take care of herself. Hmm. We'll see. We'll see. So I, you know, I'm thinking maybe there's potentially some female connected to Effie that is connected to the, her brother. And I guess we'll see sometime down this uh, episode, uh, down this season. But I think that is a legit fan theory. Shouts out to them. Anytime y'all send me something on Instagram, I'm going to get it up here. And so how that's what this? we think. Of how about, oh, God. How about oh this, God. though, man? Oh, Lord. You ask who's taking care of Effie, who's making all this stuff happen. Maybe it's Simon Stern. Maybe Simon Stern actually runs a, a, a program for second generation drug dealer kids. What? He, maybe he's sort of like Professor X where he runs a school for, you know, for special kids. He's Simon Sturge running a special program for second generation drug dealer kids. He's taking so all the skills that they picked up from their parents and showing them how to make it better. So are you saying that Simon Sturge is accepting of Effie being in the drug game? I think Simon Stearns might be actually there in the background working with her like he's working with Tariq. They just don't know it yet. Could, could, it, could it be that Effie is, has been kept secret from Monet? Because Monet has already showed you she wants to be the head person in charge. So, And we've already seen that the daddy plays favorite with his kids. So could it be that he's keeping Effie secret from Monet? It's possible. You know, my only my only concern about that theory is, is that when Monet was at Choke, 
she was there on scholarship and she was making it seem as if, you know, hey, you're a rich kid, you're coming in from wherever, but the rest of us don't have it that easy. And she made it sound like she was there on scholarship, which mm -hmm. leads me to believe that she wasn't. I mean, because if she was the brother of, of Tahada, you would think that he would have had some money set aside for her and she was at this school because he was putting her there away from all of this. And if he was trying to get her away from all of that, why would he then continually supply her with product? It's a good question. Maybe she wants to be in the drug game, whereas Diana doesn't. Like Tariq. I mean, Tariq so, had, I mean, Tariq, Tariq, had Tariq, Tariq is that way. Yeah, Tariq had every possible accoutrement set forth to him by his daddy ghost. Rest in peace, ghost ain't coming back. And he wanted someone, to be in the game. Someone said maybe someone Teresa's uh uh um um if I can get my words out, you <laughs> Teresa C is T saying maybe Effie's connected. Oh, T Stream's girlfriend said that maybe Effie uh connect is Ramona. And I'm thinking they both are light skinned with foreheads. It's possible. Maybe, maybe maybe uh Effie is Ramona's daughter. And, and Ramona is a is an undercover queen pin. Maybe they have the queen pin part of this wrong. Maybe they're thinking, you know, Tasha was the queen pin. It was really Ramona. Man, y'all gotta stop this. Y'all y'all gotta I'm stop just this. Saying, we're pontificating. Man. Spell it. <laughs> Spell it. And don't even look it up. Spell it. Man, Lord have mercy. Hey Siri, how do you spell pontificate? No, that don't count. That don't count. That don't count. <laughs> P-O-N-T-I-F-I-C-A-T-E. <laughs> Pontificate. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, I don't know what Come Larry on, has in his like Patreon. Do I look like an 11-year-old at the script spelling bee? <laughs> I don't know what Larry has in his patriotic bottle. But ladies and gentlemen, I can tell you it ain't red Kool-Aid. I can tell you that right up front. 